Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. In this video, we're gonna be using the St. James plugin suite to dial in some high gain metal sounds. So for this, we're gonna be doing two different things. We're gonna be using the EL34 version of the amp to dial in some classic British heavy metal sounds and the 6L6 version to dial in some more higher gain scooped modern sounds. So we're gonna start with the EL34 amp here. Now, I've got nothing running so far other than some whole reverb, which is going to be running for the whole video. And I will be using some compression and drive at some point in this video as well. We're going to start at the cab section because typically when we think of a big heavy metal sound or the visuals of a heavy metal band on stage, we've got full stacks. So I've got two cabinets here, both from the Series 1 range from Blackstar, one angled and one straight 4x12 to basically simulate a full stack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a slightly different microphone on each one because different microphones are going to pick up slightly different frequency responses. Now, the combination of the two mics will give me a nice sound. What I'm using here is a 4-2-1 dynamic here on one cab because it's got an aggressive and tight sound. And then on the other side, I'm using a 57 dynamic because that's a pretty standard mic for recording high gain sounds. It gives us a nice focused attack on the notes. So from the amp's perspective, I want to be using the overdrive channel and I can flip this to the second mode here, which is actually a higher gain version. So in its current state, it sounds like this. So that's not enough gain to start with for what we want to do. So I'm going to turn the volumes up a little bit and then we're going to push the gain to about two o'clock. So what that has given us already is a pretty good, almost kind of heavy classic rock sound. So I'm just going to make some quick EQ adjustments and then we'll turn this into more of a metal sound. So I definitely want a lot more mid-range and a bit more top end attack here for playing this. <laughs> So now we're getting into the right kind of EQ ballpark. A lot of mid-range, bit of top-end attack, and some additional low-end fatness. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the pre-effects and I'm gonna turn on the compressor. What that's gonna do is kind of just glue everything together. It's gonna to even out the signal and give me a little bit more of that cranked amp feel. So I want the compression to be a little bit lower than it is, and I want the blend on about halfway, and I'm gonna have a fast compression here because we don't want the compression to make it spongy, we just want it to be tight. Then, I'm gonna use the drive pedal with the gain on zero, and I'm just gonna turn this on, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna push the front of the amp that little bit more. It's gonna give me a little bit more front end gain without adding too much saturation, and too much saturation means we're gonna lose some of the note definition, so when I turn that on, this happens. <laughs> So you can see how that's just tightened everything up. Now what I can do is I can add some gain if I want. Or I could just leave the gain on zero, use that like a boost, and then use the tone control to taste if I want it brighter or darker, I can use the tone for that. So that now is gonna be the basis for my British heavy metal tone. That's a great starting point if you're dialing in that classic new ever British heavy metal sound. Now we're gonna to come to the EL34 amp. I'm gonna turn the compression and drive off briefly. And we're gonna talk about how to dial in a more contemporary metal sound, more of a high gain scooped sound. So again, come to the drive channel and straight away that's gonna give us this much drive. So we're definitely gonna want a bit more there. We can probably get away with using the first voice of the gain channel because there is enough there, but I'm gonna to go to the second voice just so you can hear the gain difference. I'm gonna put a bit more volume there. So they're both 
quite high gain voices. The second voice is a little more top end. And the first one is a little fatter. So you've kind of got like a more classic sounding high gain drive, which is really fat, and then a bit more of a brighter, really cutting, more modern sound as well. So I'm gonna start on the first voice. I'm just gonna push the gain a little bit so you can hear that. And we can probably get where we put a bit more gain. And the second voice. The second one, as you can hear, has got a little bit more of a mid-range scoop as well. So if we want to make some EQ changes here, sticking with the slightly more American theme, what we would typically do is scoop the mids a little bit, bring the lows and highs forward a bit more. So we've still got quite a lot of gain there. Now, we can get away with adding some mids in, but what we don't want to do is we don't want to add too many mids in. Because even though that sounds great, it starts to lean it more towards the classic British sound. To keep it in that high gain American sound, we definitely want the mids to be somewhere around the halfway or just below mark. This kind of tone will work great for that. And then what we can do is we can come back into the pre-effects, turn on that compressor again in the same settings just to glue everything together, and turn on that drive. And what that's gonna do again is just push the front of the amp a bit more and tighten things up. That's gonna give us quite a fat sound. And from that point then, we can start making some last minute EQ adjustments or even cab adjustments. Sticking with the 4x12 cabs is a pretty good idea for metal stuff. What we can do is we can go to something like the Artisan 4x12 and have a matched pair of those and that will give us a very different sound. <laughs> Or we can have a combination of the two cabs with the Artisan on one side and the Series 12 4x12 on the other. As you can see, your cab choice is going to be a big impact on your high gain sounds as well. The straight cab is going to add more of that low end thump and then the combination of the two angled cabs gives a little bit more of that top end presence and attack so there you go there are some tips on how to start dialing in a great metal tone with the saint james plugin let me know down below in the comments what combination of things you're using to get your metal tones with this plugin as well i'd love to hear how you guys are approaching this don't forget to check out Black Star Amplification on YouTube for more videos just like this. And if you're looking for a guitar teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. There's a great network of teachers all around the country waiting to help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon.